Hi, it's great to see you this morning. It's Saturday and it's the 13th of March. And I've done a couple of takes because I've just bashed my tripod a couple of times. So and it gives a bit of camera shake. So I'm going to be try good not to do that this time. Um, we've got an important weekend happening. Um, not just because we're meeting on Sunday at church. Um, that's important, of course. It's great to be able to meet together. It's great to be able to come and to worship together, to to uh, just to be, as we meet together, there is something about the corporate anointing as we come together. Um, the Bible says this, it's interesting, isn't it? The Bible says this, you know, do not give up the habit of meeting together. And, you know, for years as preachers, we've been saying this, years and years and years, we've said this, and then COVID has, has come along and suddenly we're like, oh, no, no, we can't meet together. Oh, no, no, we can't meet together. It's really fascinating by, by what's happened and the change in tune of, of many church leaders. But I, I would just I would just encourage you, uh, if you feel able to come along, I know, I know lockdown's easing in the next couple of weeks, but if you, I'd encourage you to come along because there is something about being in the room. There is something about something about when we praise together when we worship together there's something about the corporate anointing of the holy spirit comes when we break bread together which we were doing every week at the moment as we do this there's something of his anointing that comes and falls upon us in a way that um i don't think i've not experienced in quite the same way as watching things online so I just encourage you to to do that to be with us that would be great if you could 10 30 Remember on Sunday, clocks go forward an hour. So uh, it's uh, to really get yourself to bed early, get, set your alarm if you need to, and get along for 10.30 in the morning, which is 9.30 today's time. Okay, so we're continuing with the devotion. We're in the book of James. Looks like I could well be going into Colossians for next time when we finish the book of James. We're in chapter 5. Yesterday we did verse 13, which said this, Are any of you suffering hardships? You should pray. Great advice. Are any of you happy? You should sing praises. Then James carries on. Are any of you sick? Good question. You should call the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and the Lord will make you well. And if you've committed any sins, guess what? You'll be forgiven. Isn't that good news? So are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. So there's a clear call to scripture. You know, the God, you know, we believe that healing wasn't just what for, for what Jesus did at that time. It wasn't just for Jesus and for the early church. Actually, healing, God is the same. You know, Jesus said God is the same yesterday, today and forever. Healing, if God healed yesterday, guess what? I believe God heals today just because it's not our experience necessarily we're not seeing god moving in signs and wonders and great healings and power just because we're not seeing that in our country right now do you know what doesn't mean to say god isn't isn't interested in healing uh we just need to just believe it talks about here what do we need to have to do what well, you should call the elders so there's something about being active so you need to say so if you are ill you call upon the elders of the church that's myself, that's Karen, that's um, Andy Allman, that's our leadership team at the moment. And John McHale is also, also there as well um, to come and pray over you. What? Anointing you with oil. Oil speaks of blessing. Spoil. Oil. Spoil? Oil speaks of blessing. You know, when, when um, um, as Aaron was, an, was, was, was chosen, dedicated to the Lord, what did they do? They poured over oil over his head and it ran down his beard. And, it, and um, when David was anointed, as king of Israel, what did Samuel do? He anointed his head with oil. There is something, you know. There's something about this. It's not the oil. It's not. It's not a magic. It's not magic. It's not anything like that. It's not anything crazy like that. But it is. There is a spiritual significance to being anointed with oil and and, and calling for the the elders, the leaders of the church, to come and pray over you. In what? In my name? No. In Andy's name, in John McHale's name, no, because there's no there's no power in our names. There is power though in the name of Jesus. Praise God. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power. And listen to me. The same power 
that uh, that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, guess what? It's available to you right now. It's, it's living within you right now. If you have the Holy Spirit within you, if you are born again, and you have the Holy Spirit living within you, the same power is at work in you as raised Jesus from the dead. Just believe it. Just get this into your, he into your head. And Mike, get this into your skull. That the same power, Mike, that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is in me right now. And that means that when we pray for healing over people, guess what? It will happen. Why? Because we offer it in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered what? In faith. And Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, I haven't got any mustard seeds with me here, but they're in the kitchen. They are, I use them with cooking with my, when I'm cooking some, an Indian curry. They are tiny. They are tiny. And when you have a small seed like that, a faith, you'll see these things happen. Such a prayer offered in faith. And who will make you well? The Lord will make you well. And then finally, it just says that if you've committed any sins, guess what? You'll be forgiven. If you've committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Is it saying sickness is a result of sin? Well, maybe in some situations, maybe it is, but maybe it's not. Not necessarily is the word, uh, is, is, is my kind of thought, not necessarily. But we continually, we do fall, we do sin. And, you know, when we trust rather in, God, rather in ourselves, in our own abilities, rather than God, do you know what? That actually is sin as well. When we have that, you know, where we have that pride, that arrogance in, in our own abilities, in our own strength. And so today, why don't we just, if you are sick, actually, let's, let's do this right now. If you are sick, let me just raise my hand, Lord, to the, the, the camera right now. If, Lord, if anyone watching this who is sick right now, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, we will speak your healing in the name of Jesus over anyone listening today who uh, is, is sick, is unwell in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray as well, Lord God, for any who are uh, have, have sinned, have fallen away from you, have done things that are not honouring to you, Lord God. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you come with your forgiving power right now in the name of Jesus. And you will just fill us again, fill us again anew with your beautiful, amazing Holy Spirit, Lord God. Lord, that you will anoint us, Lord God. Lord, that we would realise, that we would know that the same power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead is alive and well and active in us today in jesus name we pray amen do you know what believe it believe it don't just listen to my word but look what it says in the bible about it read what god says about that the same power that raised christ from the dead is alive in you listen hope you have a great day take care god bless and i'm super excited to see you tomorrow at church in jesus name amen